Hey guys, what's up? It's Alicia. So for today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be teaching you guys how to make an animated end slate using your phone. And then after I do that, I'm going to show you guys how to actually use the end slate on your uh, YouTube channel and your videos. So without further ado, let's just get started with this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click or go into the app Fonto and click this camera button at the bottom and load a plain image. And where it says 2048, you're just going to want to click on that and scroll down to where it says 2208 by 1242. And then you can change the color to whichever color you want for the background of your end slate. I'm going to go with a blue color since I like it. And then just click apply and then click that box with the arrow and click use. Now in the bottom left corner there are these three bars. I'm just going to click on that, press add item, and I'm going to add two of these boxes. And then I'm going to add a circle for the channel, and so I'm just going to move that out of the way. And what I'm going to do in order to make this the right size is I'm going to click on the white box, click move, and then I'm going to make it so that it's aligned in the center with these two buttons on this arrow thing here. Then I'm just going to resize it so that's the same size as this image and then I'm going to do and then I'm just going to change that by using the size button down to about 135. And now I'm going to repeat the same thing, so I'm just going to click on the white box, move it so it's in the center and then click size. So I make it the same height and this oops, same height and the same width. And then I'm just going to size that down to 135. And I'm gonna click on it again and um, move it so that it's in like the center of the screen and then I'm gonna move it over a little bit, you know, and just work on arranging it how I want it to be. And then I'm gonna resize the circle and put that in the middle since that is what I'm going to be putting my channel on. So the two boxes are for the like ch uh, videos that you wanna show and then the circle is for your channel. So I'm just making sure these are the same size. This is not the same size. Okay, so it takes kind of a while for me to arrange it just because I want it to look perfect. But once it looks how I want it to, I think we're gonna go with this. I'm just gonna save that. And we're gonna go into the app CuteCut. You can also use iMovie, it doesn't really matter. It's just CuteCut works a little quicker for me, so I'm gonna use it. But anyway, I'm just gonna create a new movie and I'm gonna add that photo. And then I'm just gonna make it about 10 seconds long. Like so, or I'm gonna make it a little longer, like 15. And then I'm just gonna save it to my camera roll as a movie. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm gonna go into the app Vaunt, and this is where I'm gonna add my text, so I'm just gonna load this video. And now that I have this, I'm gonna add my text, so I'm just gonna say, uh, I'll go with I editing X. I'm gonna move this and arrange it at the top, and here you can change it to any font you want. You can even download your own fonts but I'm just gonna go with the Helvetica one since it looks the cleanest. And you can even add like a drop shadow if you want, which I'm gonna do, cause it always looks better like that. And then I'm just gonna arrange it in like the center of the screen. Okay, so now I'm going to end up um, animating it. So in order to do that, you click on the text box and the bottom left, it'll say none and you can change it to like a different transition. So you'll see that there's like fade, slide, so I'm going to go with uh, slide to the right and then for the out one I'm going to go slide to the left so that when it plays it ends up looking like this. And then once you get to the end, slide out. So now that I have this I'm going to save it to my camera roll, export, save video, and now so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upload the video and then I'll show you guys how to actually put your own stuff on it and use the end slate. The next step is to upload your video and then what you're going to want to do is download this app called Puffin. It's basically this free app but it formats your phone so you can use it like a desktop. And with using this you're able to actually put in an end screen and do all the things that you can do on a computer on your phone. So that's why we need this app because you can't do it on Safari or Chrome or anything. So anyway, once you go into the app, what you're going to want to do is find your video and press edit. And it will just bring you to the screen like this. And you're going to want to go to the top where it says end screen and annotations and click on that. And it will bring you to the screen where you can actually edit this and use it. So what you're going to want to do 
is click at, once it loads, you're gonna wanna find the end of the video. You can click on use template and you're just gonna wanna click on the ones that have what you need. So what you're gonna do is you'll go into the template section and there'll be a template for the one we just created. So you're just gonna click on that, click select. And I know it doesn't really turn up well on here, but once you figure it out, press save. And when you watch your video, it's gonna pop up. And so now when I go back to YouTube, and I go to watch the video at the end, it should pop up. Yeah, so it pops up like that, and it's kind of hard to edit it on a um, phone, but on a computer it will work just fine. So thank you, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you guys out and you guys learned how to do it. Uh, and yeah, I Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you guys.